Now. Ruto joins with Jacoy and Maori at Bomas ahead of presidential results declaration. I'll tell you what happens after IBC announces Kenya's fifth president. And then battled Kenya at University Vice Chancellor Professor Inain officially dismissed. With Wycliffe or Randy. Good afternoon. Three out of the four presidential candidates have already arrived at the National Tallying Centre at the Bomas of Kenya ahead of the official announcement of the final presidential results by ABC Chairman Ofula Chebukati. Deputy President and Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate William Ruto arrived a few minutes to 3 p.m. accompanied by his family members, media team and several of his close allies. He joins uh, George Ojakoy of the Roots Party and Agano Party's uh, David Moro Ahiga, who arrived earlier together with their running mates to the excitement of those present after unity handshake between them. Also present and has just arrived a few minutes ago is WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka. Menol Nairobi CBD is now ghost town following a mass exodus of people out of the city ahead of the announcement of the fifth president of Kenya. Most business premises in Nairobi, including in the busy commercial district of Isili, have also closed early, with businessmen saying they are afraid of violent celebrations or demonstrations following the announcement. Huge traffic snarl-ups are also being witnessed with motorists and PSVs rushing to get out of town. However, several passengers have been stranded at major bus termina in the city due to lack of matatus, with some opting to walk home. For those still in the CBD, big TV screens have been mounted in major streets, including along Uganda Road, from where Nairobians can watch live proceedings proceedings from the bombers of Kenya in Kisumu. The situation is the same, with several businesses closed at the Ugingo Dinga Street and with less activity in Eldoret, calm still prevails with the residents awaiting the big announcement. Now, even, after, even as Kenyans wait with bated breath, the results on who will become the fifth president is what you need to know before and after the results are announced. The IBC chairman is required to announce the results through a televised address. It is worth noting that the winners dictated by the Constitution of Kenya must have met a required threshold before being declared. However, if there is no winner announced due to nobody attending the 50% plus one vote threshold, a fresh election shall be held within 30 days after the previous election and only the candidates or candidates who receive the greatest number of votes and the candidates who received the second greatest number of votes shall be the ones to participate. After the, the declaration is what ensues up until the present election is sworn in as head of state. Now, the IBC chairman is required to offer the president-elect a certificate with the candidate required to present themselves physically to collect it. The IBC must, or rather the chairman, must deliver a written notification of the results to the chief justice and the incumbent president, Uru Kenyatta. In an event of a petition challenging the results, it must be filled or filed within seven days from the declaration of the results. The Supreme Court should hear and determine the petition within 14 days after it is filed and its decision shall be final. If the Supreme Court rules in favor of the petition or petitioners, the results are annulled and a fresh election is ordered to be held within 60 days. Now, in the event that no petition is filed at the apex court, the president-elect shall be sworn in publicly before the Chief Justice or the Deputy Chief Justice if the CJ is absent on the first Tuesday, two weeks after the date of the declaration of the results of the presidential election by IBC. The president-elect then takes an oath of office for the execution of the functions of president as prescribed in Article 1413 of the Constitution. Now, upon taking the oath, the president shall sign a certificate of inauguration and the outgoing president shall hand over to the president the instruments of power and authority, which include a sword and the constitution. And finally, embattled Kenya University Vice Chancellor Professor Paul Wainen has uh, been officially dismissed by the institution's council in a circular to staff on Monday. Acting Vice Chancellor Professor Sheke Wanjo, he said that the university has written a letter to Wainen notifying him of the dismissal. He argued, rather he urged that uh, the university to remain focused and shun any communications from the dismissed vice-chancellor. When he was sacked on uh, the 12th of July after a standoff between him and the government occasioned by a piece of the university's parcel of land. On the 27th of the same month, the Employment and Labor Relations Court ordered his reinstatement. For ultimate updates, follow us on Twitter at hot underscore 96 Kenya. More news at 5. I'm weekly for Andy. Good afternoon. The Hot 96 News.